guys, I'm Sarah with Print Shop Talk and today we're gonna cover Etsy. Now, Etsy in general is this huge, huge discussion. I mean, there are so many things that we could talk about with Etsy, but today we're gonna focus on our top five things to help boost your shop for success. We're gonna have to do a whole series on this because there's so much to talk about and so many things to cover, but Derek and I have kind of sat down and picked out our top five. We're gonna cover those today. And then I think we're gonna have to come back next week and do another five and just keep it going until we feel like we've answered all your questions and covered everything. So let's go ahead and get started. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that right now. Go hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so that we are notified whenever we post new videos. We're posting videos every single week on tips and tricks on how to build your own business as well as insights into the printing industry and you want to make sure that you get notified whenever we post things we're doing live videos you can come join us on those and join the discussion ask any questions you have we're here to help so don't forget like subscribe and push the little notification bell so that way you get notified when we post all right let's get started with the video so the First thing, the most important thing that you can do when it comes to adding items to your shop is make sure that you have a detailed title and description. This is really important. Anybody can get on here and sell stickers or shirts or whatever the case may be, but what's gonna make your product stand out? Make sure that you describe your product thoroughly. Is it made in house? Do you cut it yourself? Do you laminate? Is it holographic? Is it embroidered? Is it, is it, what do you do that makes your product special? In my Etsy titles, I like to have a little spacer between each thing. So I'll put, for instance, waterproof stickers, my little spacer, and then I'll have made in the USA, a little spacer. You don't have to do that, but that's how I like to set mine up. And within your description, you wanna make sure that you're being as detailed as possible. So for instance, what kind of shirts you use? Um, do you embroider in house? What specialty items can you add on with the shirts? Again, I'm using shirts as an example, but you get the idea. We offer stickers on our page and what we say is this is how long shipping takes, this is how long processing takes, we do bulk orders, message us, things like that. Um, how to order, we even do like a step-by-step -step how to order, how to send us your image. If you have questions, message us. So make sure that your item description is as detailed as possible because chances are most of the time they'll read that and get their questions answered and they won't have to bug you. Number two, take advantage of those photos. You've got about 10 spaces that you can work with to get all kinds of angles, all different kinds of versions posted on there. People like to see your product in action. So for instance, if you do shirts, they're gonna wanna see your shirts on people, right? Not just on a nice background. They actually wanna see them being worn. How do they fit? What are the true colors like? Because keep in mind, what you see on the screen does not always match what you get in person. That's the same with printing across the board. What you see on your iPhone is gonna be different than what you see on your iPad. The colors can vary. So people wanna see what it looks like in person as much as possible. Take advantage of all those photo slots. If you have people leave reviews, you can take the good ones, the good photos from those reviews and you can add that in there. Um, we will often update um, our Instagram with photos that we take. And then if we have any really good ones, we'll sub those into our Etsy listing to keep it fresh and up to date. Nothing worse than having old dated images that don't really apply anymore and aren't really gonna pique interest. So take advantage of those photos. In addition to that, there's a little video section where you can upload a video on your product, either in production mode or the finished product or hush them all together. It doesn't really matter, but that video really comes in handy and I'll tell you why. When you're searching on Etsy for an item and you hover over a product, if there's a video, the video is automatically gonna start playing. They're more likely to look at that item and check it out. So do post as many pictures as you can and make sure you take advantage of that little video section too. All right, number three on our list of really important things that you should do with your listings to boost those sales tags. Now, I can't stress this enough. Having the correct tags on your listing 
makes the difference between your item being found and your item blending in with the crowd and never being seen. So for example, when we first opened up our Etsy shop, we used hashtags like stickers, labels, final, really just one worded uh, tags and they didn't really get anywhere. Granted, we were making sales, but this was a few years ago before the market was totally flooded with everybody having printers and making stickers. Nowadays, you have to be really specific. So for instance, now we have things like water bottle stickers, waterproof stickers, things that make the item unique. These are items that people are actually gonna look for. And if your tag has something that they're looking for, chances are it's gonna pop up. So for instance, if I'm a small business and I go and I search small business custom stickers or small business logo stickers, chances of this listing popping up are pretty high. So make sure that you do list your tags and make sure that they're relevant and really gonna stand out from just stickers, right? If you search stickers, a million shops are gonna pop up. But what makes your product unique? Number four, for things that are really important to boost your Etsy sales, send discounts and coupons. There's this really awesome option here in Etsy where you can actually send people a little discount code for favoriting your item or let's say that they add it to their cart and then they forget to check out. You can add a discount and it will automatically be sent to them. You don't even have to do anything. You just set it up and Etsy does the rest. So the way that you do that is you go into marketing and you're going to go up here to sales and discounts. And you can see here that you can click on run a sale. So you can create a sale for your shop or maybe particular items, or you can create a promo code. A lot of times people that favorite something, they get a notification that says, hey, this is on sale, or hey, here's a discount code, 10% for favoriting, give it a shot. Uh, they're more likely to purchase because they've received a little discount. So do take advantage of sending people discounts, little 10% here and there really makes a difference. Your item in your shop should be priced to where you can afford to give a little bit of a discount and still make an, a profit off of that item. Number five for ways to boost Etsy sales, whether you're starting out or you're just kind of in a slump and not going anywhere. Don't feel like you have to have a hundred different listings in your shop in order to boost sales. It's just not true. You can have one really good listing with your images and your video and your description and title and tags and all that stuff. And that one thing can get sales and be really popular as long as it's set up right. You can get a ton of sales on that one thing. Now it's okay to say this one's gonna be die cut stickers and this one's gonna be circles. That, that's okay, those are different, right? So people that are searching circle water bottle labels, that's gonna pop up versus die cut stickers, right? But you just don't need to have 20 of the same thing to be successful. And don't let anybody tell you that your shop will not show up unless you have multiple listings. It's just not true. I have a separate private Etsy account that does digital downloads and I have only six items on there and I can tell you within the first three weeks, I made over 60 sales. So you don't have to have a ton of things to make money on Etsy. All right guys, so we covered five different things that you can do to help get Etsy off on the right foot or to kind of get out of that slump that you've been in. Make sure your title's very descriptive. Your item description has a lot of information in it to cover any questions that may come up and to really make your item stand out. We talked about tags, we talked about photos, and last but not least, we talked about sending out a little discount code. Everybody likes discounts. Don't underestimate the power of the discount. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I'd really love to know which one out of those, out of those five you're going to try or which one you like the best. Also, if you have any tips or tricks, please feel free to leave them down below. I'd love to learn from you as well. We're gonna make this into a little mini series so that way we can share information with each other. And I'll be back next week with five additional tips for Etsy. We will be posting two to three videos per week. Please feel free to like and subscribe, comment down below, and join our membership program if you're interested in getting all of the private videos that we share. 
that's just extra tips to help build your business. And Derek's really good about being on top of helping our members out exponentially. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I really hope this was helpful and I will see you next time. Have a great week.